yourself. And the beauty is you can dose titrate this. So you put the CAR T's in, the CAR T's circulate. You put in the switch, you dose titrate the switch, you control tumor lysis syndrome, okay, because you can control the dose. And then when you're done, you take it away. So you don't get chronic T cell persistence against, you know, targets on, known, uh, on normal cells as well as cancer cells. So that's kind of the idea, and we've made a lot of different uh, tag molecules, small molecules and peptides we're using as the targeting agent, both small molecules and antibodies. So we really built out a large platform here, and just to show you, you introduce a CAR-T that targets nothing, you add the switch, and you get complete ablation of the tumors, okay? Here we did a surrogate mouse model where when you take away the switch, when you use a normal CAR-T, this is targeting CD19 positive cells, you deplete all the CD19 positive cells, but you also deplete, you can't stop it, okay? You cannot stop, so your B cell depleted. Here, you give the switch, you take away the CD19 positive B cells, and then you take the switch out and you get B cells back. So you can turn it off. And the other beauty of this is you only need one CAR T. So you only have to make one engineered cell. You don't have to make an engineered cell for every cancer. You make one, and you just target it to a different cancer with a different switch. So it really simplifies the cell therapy part of this. And the other beauty is, is if you're treating a CD19 tumor, and all of a sudden it escapes by upregulating CD22, you use the same CAR T that's already in the patient, and you give them a different switch for CD22. If you're treating AML where you have CD33 and CLL1, and they're heterogeneous tumors, you give them both. So we've actually demonstrated this in vitro with maybe eight different tumor markers, and in vivo with three or four different tumors. And so we're, act, we're in uh, really kind of significant partnering discussions now with this platform that we think could be applied to uh, virtually all cancers, including solid tumors, because it increases the safety. Um, we have a, a novel antibody platform. There's a huge number of peptides and proteins that we need to make long-lived uh, to use as human therapeutics. Pegylation is now turning out to be problematic because of PEGTOX. Um, so what we did is we discovered this novel bovine antibody that out of the CDR3 uh, on the heavy chain has this folded disulfide cross crosslink protein domain. And so this has all the properties of an antibody, long lifetime, great PK. And this has all the properties of whatever you glue.